Hello, this is John Cavalli of JK Financial, and this is your 2014 Capital Market Economic and Financial Planning Review. We're excited to bring you hopefully clearer audio. I'll say this isn't the first take, and we're learning some of our equipment, but audio is the toughest part. Hopefully you'll enjoy this, and it'll be clearer for you. But we have a great post that we'll cut to here in a second. But I just wanted to thank you for taking time to watch the video, and hopefully it will explain a little bit deeper than just the words that are on the post. So here we go. The post that uh, this video will be embedded on is, is a fun one. It's our March uh, 2014 I've mentioned before. We ran across something funny this uh, last month, and that was cell phone pricing wars. We had mentioned this in an earlier post, and essentially what happened is the, two, the big two, which are AT&T and Verizon, threw off the gloves and started lowering their price of their monthly services. Our initial take was worried about um, marginality of their services, but that was more from an investor. On the consumer side, which we all pay, most of us pay a cell phone bill, I stumbled upon the ability for most of us, and I've, I've had more than a handful of people already do this, go in and adjust your plan. Okay, I, And I put this in bold here, and it is basically you've got to go in and adjust your uh, wireless plan. I've seen significant savings. We're in the thousands now, and I've had multiple people, and so far everybody's had some sort of a savings. This video, being on the 7th or the 8th or the 9th, is uh, not exactly right at the end of the month. This has been the toughest tax season, I mentioned this in this post, that we've seen in probably a decade. And a lot of it is, is kind of the perfect storm, which I mentioned here, as you'll see. And that is that essentially the Taxpayer Relief Act, which was uh, uh, put in when our uh, most recent president was uh, nominated, those uh, phase, those deductions or a lot of those savings have phased out last year. In addition, speaking of phased out, we've had a lot of phase outs. Uh, as incomes go up, certain things happen. We're losing our write-offs. Alternative minimum taxes are also rising their ugly head, and we're still having issues with reconciliation. So from my contact, my point of contact with not only us as investors and taxpayers, but lots and lots of CPAs, put your patient's hat on. I think we're all going to pay more in taxes. It appears like it's been a high tax year, and um, we'll we'll deal with it. it. There are worse things than paying taxes, but of course, no no one likes to do it. Lastly, but not leastly, market. I couldn't get away without talking about uh, fixed income. We talk about this in the cover letter and the newsletter, all of which are coming uh, soon. And that is the fact that this the the market. The equity markets pretty much globally have gone virtually nowhere, and now we're on this fixed income watch. And I would have bet you almost any amount of money that we were going to continue up in here, right up. And these are this is the ten-year Treasury rate. So at this point, it was about three percent. Now it's jumped back down to almost two point seven, and we're bouncing along the bottom here. This is interesting. This is really interesting. If this, and I've mentioned this before, if this breaks down, it would mean that the, the folks in the credit and the fixed income markets think the economy is slowing. We really want it to slowly go back up this direction. We're on key watch for it, and I included it in this video, not to beat a dead horse, but because it is that important. Equity markets have been soggy uh, and throughout the first part of this year, which is fine by us. We had a really stunning year last year and got ahead of herself. So just to wrap up, it was an interesting quarter, lots of tax issues, and we hope that uh, everybody made it through, and we look forward to um, talking to you again.